everyone, before we start this workout, I just wanted to quickly say something exciting, and that's that I will be both at Playlist Live in DC, September 4th through 6th, and I will be at Olympia um, in Vegas, and that is September 18th, yeah, yeah, I think so. So yeah, are you guys gonna be at any of those? Comment below if you will, and if you will, hopefully I'll get to see you at some point. along for a full day of eating on the go as I'm traveling moving up to Tallahassee and not eating my own food eating whatever there is anyways I got to the apartment and the AC was broken of course in my unit so it was like 88 degrees in my apartment and we were like no we cannot stay here tonight so me and my mom got a hotel room so we woke up in the morning and that's where the day starts we had free breakfast at the hotel. I wanna show you guys how you can eat healthy even when you're at like a hotel buffet breakfast where there's tons of options that aren't so healthy. So I just got oatmeal with water, heated up in the microwave. I got the little single serving packets of peanut butter and honey and mixed that into the oatmeal. And then I had one of their 100 calorie yogurts. It had a lot of sugar in it because it is the flavored ones, but whatever. YOLO. <laughs> okay, that was dumb. Anyways, so, um, and then I had coffee, and since I usually have a mocha with my chocolate protein powder mixed in, I just got regular hot chocolate mix and mixed that into my coffee. <laughs> um, so then I got that breakfast, and I went back up to my room because it closed at 9 a.m., so I woke up really quickly, got it, came back up, had the coffee, and just kind of got some things done, showered, and then around 10, had the actual food part of it because I'm never like too hungry in the mornings. Like right when I wake up, I need some time with just my coffee and whatever. Um, so that was that. So usually I'm a huge snack person. And when I'm at home, I'm just snacking constantly and so I don't really have big meals. But this day of eating, I was on the go, trying to move everywhere. And then I waited too long to eat because we were on the go, shopping at every and any store, trying to get stuff. So we ended up stopping at McDonald's and I got a wrap. And I just wanna show you guys, like you can still eat semi-healthy. Like the wrap, it was a chicken and ranch wrap, but I asked for no ranch dressing. And so it was just chicken, lettuce, tomato, and the wrap. And then I just got ketchup on the side and used ketchup because I love ketchup, anything. Um, and then, that was around like four. So we, yeah, we waited a long time to eat and I was starving and so, last minute resort at McDonald's. <laughs> um, and then we kept shopping, and then around 9 p.m. we went to Applebee's, and I had this lovely sirloin dinner. And you can always get healthy options out, like they usually have like a healthy menu, at least healthy choices. And I got the, it was like 600 calories or less menu option, and I got the sirloin on there. And then I was still hungry after that, so I ordered a side salad instead of getting the dessert that I wanted. Um, so I got a side salad and it came with like bacon and cheese on it and balsamic dressing. So that's what my dinner was. And really there wasn't very any snacks in between. Um, yeah, there really wasn't anything at all. So that was it and like that's why I want to show you guys like this kind of full day of eating because I probably didn't eat near as much as I normally do and I ate just like meals, like three meals instead of snacks all the time and so I want to show you something different and just kind of show you guys that you know every day is not going to be the same and that's okay like that's what um, being normal is all about some days you eat a little less than you're supposed to some days you eat more than you're supposed to and that's okay like yes intuitive eating like you should listen to your body but you also like don't need to beat yourself up when you mess up like if you have a little less or a little more like your body will even itself out and that's the whole like basis behind intuitive eating. It's like when you listen to your body, like when you've been eating a lot of junk food, your body will naturally crave healthy food. And when you want something sweet or something like you really like, then eat it, it's okay. So 
they are my thoughts and I'm exhausted because we have been in and out of every store trying to decorate my apartment and my room. I never really do DIY stuff, but when I do, I make flowers. I just get the basics done. I kind of want to do something about like how to decorate on a budget or just how to like, I'm gonna have to actually cook for myself too to this year because I always had my sorority house food. Now I actually have to cook meals on my own, so maybe like cooking on a budget and eating healthy on a budget. Just a lot of things like that because this girl is on a budget. So if you guys want that, comment below. And you are going to meet the roomies at some point, just not now. So I just thought it would be a fun little game to play. I don't know if you guys are, you guys are gonna be like, this is retarded, but I wanna see what you guys guess when, guess the roomies. <laughs> so I have three roommates, we live in a quad, to a four bedroom, four bathroom. So I wanna see what you guys think my roomies are, whether it's what they're like, what they're here for, like program wise, how I know them, personality wise, gender, anything. I wanna know, I want to see your guesses for what who my roommates are. And then in a video soon to come, <laughs> I will show you the actual roommates. Until next time guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up to support it. Subscribe, of course, if you aren't already. If you're on a computer, it's somewhere in the corner. And if you're on your phone, just click the little red subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating on the go. Bye.